I know the last one to break, the plan is to put glue on these sort of raised up bits. This could be a disaster. I don't think there was enough glue on there to start with. So welcome back to the channel and to another video. So if you remember in the last episode, we finished off repairing the headliner for the detachable hardtop, which turned out great actually. Let's take a quick look. So as you can see, it turned out really good in the end. I'm really pleased with that finish. So we've got another job on our hands today. So in today's episode, we're gonna be looking at the soundproofing that's under the bonnet. Uh, it's actually sagging down and touching the engine, rubbing against it. Also, it's old, it's dirty. So I'm gonna take it off, give it a wash, give it some paint and actually glue it back into place. So that's what's happening today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get to the video. As you can see here, isn't looking too great. It's come unstuck here. It's sagging and it's actually touching the engine. You can see here where it's gone against the battery or somewhere, which isn't great. But the main problem is going to be getting these clips out, I think, without breaking them. So I know you can get them, but they are hard to get. So I'll do what I can. We'll prise these out. Hopefully none of them will break. And the plan is to take this out, actually wash it if I can, just maybe rinse it with some water and then give it a, a spray of paint to bring the color back with some heat resistant paint. So that's the plan, uh, let's crack on. Right, I've got a selection of tools here for getting little plastic clips out. So one of these should do the trick and get these little clips out, which do seem to be in quite tight. Right, so let's give it a go and try and get these clips out. Let's try and get one out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, there's the first one. So now I know what it looks like on the other side. That'll give me sort of an idea of what I can do to prise it out. So I'll keep that safe. And hopefully all the others will be just as easy to get out. Success. That's one, two, three off. Right, I think I'm going to wrap a bit of tape around here because when I'm prising out, it's rubbing against the metal of the bonnet. So I don't want to scratch anything. So I'll put a bit of tape around there just to give me a bit of protection. All right, I'm just going to tape this back into place just so it doesn't sort of hang down on its own weight and, and tear or rip. I don't know if it's going to stick, but I'll try it. Oh, that's taped down there. Oh, yeah, that's the one I was talking about. All right, I'm just going to tape it up like I did the other side so it doesn't all collapse and fall down while I do the last few clips.
All right, let's do the last two. And hopefully it'll stay in place and it won't fall down. And I can just take it off normally. There's one. All right, I don't want the last one to break. They've all come off in one piece so far, so. There we go. Yeah, that's all of them off. Right, let's take this off. Right, so originally I think it was probably, I don't think it was glued to the bonnet. I think it was just sort of tighter, but over sort of time it sort of stretched and got, got bigger, which is why it's sagging. So let's get it all off. So the plan has to be, I think, as you can see, there's no glue on the bonnet where it's been stuck before. So the plan is to put glue on these sort of raised up bits and hopefully that will keep it in place. All right, I'll give it a wash and then a paint and then we'll get it back on the car. Just gonna give it a quick clean up now. Just gonna rinse it off with some water just to get rid of any loose dirt or dust and then I'll be ready for some paint. I'll leave it there to dry, which shouldn't take long in this weather. But I wonder actually how it will look once it is dry, if it will need to be painted at all. I'm sure it will, but it has come up quite well. And I did see quite a lot of dirt running off of it when I was washing it. Okay, let's see how it looks once it's dried out. Okay, it's the next day. It's all dried out. Let's see how it looks. It's definitely a lot cleaner, a lot blacker. A lot of that sort of mess was dust, I think, but you've still got a few faded patches sort of here and here. So I'm still going to paint it and try and make it one even colour all over. Right, let's crack on. I'm right, not sure how this is going to turn out, but we'll give it a go and see. By the way, I'm using heat resistant paint, so there's nothing, no risk of anything catching fire in the end. Right, let's wait for that to dry and see how it turns out. Right, so that's the soundproofing cleaned and painted. Time to get it back on the car. What I'm going to use is the glue that I've got left over from when I did the headlining material, which is actually heat resistant, which is perfect for being under the bonnet. So hopefully once it sort of dries and it's in place, it shouldn't sag down. Plus the little clips as well. It should all stay in place nicely. Right, let's crack on. If you're wondering what that black strap is, that's to keep it in place when I lift it up and put it on. So let's give it a go now. I'm just gonna sort of push these in, not all the way, it's just as far as I can get them, just to keep it in place. I'm going to shut the bonnet, I'm going to put these cushions here and sort of rest the bonnet down on them. And hopefully that will push the, that will push the soundproofing onto the cushion and keep it sort of tight and in place. It's not sticking. Okay, I was a bit worried about this when I was pasting the glue on. I don't think there was enough glue on there to start with. When I was putting it on, it just seemed to be soaking into the material. Mm. Okay, this could be a disaster. Okay, let's try something else. I'm going to take it off again, but this time I'm going to paste the glue directly onto the underside of the bonnet. All right, this is plan B.
Right, there's a lot more glue on there now. The trouble is it dries out pretty quickly. So I'm gonna put some of the clips in just to keep it in place. I'm putting some cushions underneath so the bonnet presses against uh, against it when it's closed, which hopefully will help the soundproofing stick better to the underside of the bonnet. Right, let's leave it till the morning and see how it dries out. Right, it's the next day. Let's see how it turned out. Right, here we go. Okay, that's looking good. It is actually stuck in place. It's not sagging at all. So I just need to put the last few clips in, push those in tight, and then we're done. But yeah, there's no movement at all there. Whew, job done. I've given it a good clean up as well around the edge of the bonnet. Um, but if you compare the before and after it's definitely a big improvement not sure how long it will stay clean for but anyway the main thing is if it stays sort of stuck which it should do I mean it's heat resistant glue so I don't see a problem with that um, right that's it job done well that's a wrap thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe I think in the next couple of videos we'll be doing uh, shock absorbers and maybe the convertible roof as well, fixing a few holes and fixing the plastic glass as well. So, see you next time.